Hey guys, it's Flip, and today I'm going to show you how to clean out a condensate pump. So I did a video on how to replace one of these pumps a couple years ago, and I'll put a link to that video in the corner of the screen right now. So since it's been a couple years, it's definitely time to give this a good cleaning. It's a good idea to clean these out every couple years, or even once a year, if you really want to make sure it's clean. So the first thing you need to do is disconnect this from the electric. So in my case, it's just plugged into an outlet, uh, but some of these are hardwired. If it's hardwired, you definitely want to shut it off at the breaker box and then disconnect your wires inside here. But in my case, I just have to unplug it. My pump also has a safety switch that is wired into the furnace. And I will show you with this non-contact tester that these low voltage wires are actually still hot since it's wired into the furnace. So it's a good idea anytime you're doing anything with wiring to use a tester like this uh, to make sure the power is off. And I'll put a link to a tool like this under the video if you want to check one out. But to make sure there's no power running to this at all, you want to shut off the furnace. And you want to shut off the furnace anyways because you don't want it draining water once you disconnect the pump from the tubing. So I'll show you now that the furnace is off, these aren't hot anymore. So now we're good to go to disconnect this from the safety switch wiring. Now I'm going to disconnect the drainage line from the pump and you want to have a cup or a bucket or something ready to drain some of this water into. Then I'm going to take out the mounting screws that are in the slots on the side of the tank. And you want to kind of support the tank under here as you take out the screws. Then I'm going to take out the check valve with a 14 millimeter wrench. This will only let water through one way, so what you want to do is blow some air through here this way or shoot some warm soapy water through here just to make sure you don't have any crud built up in there. Then I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver and put it in this little slot right here to pry the top off the tank. And as you can see, it's pretty slimy in there. So that'll give you an idea here. This is a two-year-old pump installed brand new and not too bad, but definitely got some grime going. We can get cleaned up. I'm just going to spray out the reservoir tank with a hose. Alright, got these all cleaned up. An old toothbrush and some warm water did the trick, but you can also use a mild soap if you like. But the biggest thing is that this float is able to move freely. You don't want this to get so gunked up on here or in here that this can't move freely. That's where you're going to start to have problems. Alright, let's go ahead and put this thing back up. Okay, so I'm going to put this back together. Put the check valve back in. I'm going to put these screws partially in and then hang the hooks on the side of the tank on the screws and then tighten them up. We've got the safety switch reconnected. And now we can go ahead and put our discharge tubing back on the check valve. You can also put a hose clamp on here if you like to make sure that doesn't leak. Now we can go ahead and plug this back in and turn the furnace back on. One last tip, what you can do periodically is remove this cap and put in a funnel and pour some vinegar in. Then add some water. Until it 
until the pump runs like that and runs it through the system. That'll help keep it clean as well. All right, we're all back in business and all cleaned up. If this video helped you out, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.